Ladies and gentlemen, easy aces. unbeknownst to each other, are working to sell Johnny's rich father-in-law a plot of ground. Jane had an offer of $500 from a Mr. Neff if she could sell Mr. Everett his plot. Mr. Race was tipped off by Jane's brother Johnny that the old man was going to buy. Tonight, Johnny is to call Mr. Race to tell him if he has arranged for a date with Mr. Everett. Jane's expecting a call from Mr. Neff to find out if she has contacted Mr. Everett yet. Our scene is the Ace's bungalow just after dinner. We find Mr. Race and the Ace's friend, Marge. Listen. For Pete's sake, will you stop that tramping around the room? What? If you don't look like a locomotive with that cigar in your mouth and all that smoke you're making trudging around the room, what's the matter with you? Matter? Well, look at you. What's the matter? That's what I'm asking you. What are you so nervous about? I'm not nervous. I'm just, uh, thinking. Well, it doesn't seem to be good for you. I'd give it up. Oh, stop this. Uh, hasn't it gotten so a man can't can't do what he likes around his own home? I want to walk around. So what? But there's something up. I never saw you so jumpy. There's in, nothing so... up. I've got things on my mind. Business? Well, yes, in a way. In a way? Is it business or isn't it? Yes, it's business. Oh, things going bad? Bad? No, they're going good. In fact, I... Well, they're going good, that's all. Well, you've got a funny way of enjoying good business. Maybe you're working too hard. Maybe you need a rest. I don't need a rest. I don't need anything. Will you stop asking me questions? No, you don't need a rest. A long vacation would do you a world of good. Well, maybe I'll take one if it's something that I'm working on. Uh, well, maybe I'll take one pretty soon. Don't put it off too long. Well, you don't expect me to drop everything in the middle of a deal and go running off on a vacation, do you? Oh, got a big deal on? Yes, I... Oh, I'd rather not talk about it. Well, why not? What is it, a secret? I'd rather not talk about it. Nothing's going to happen to spoil this one. If I... Just don't talk to me, will you? Well, see, you are certainly in a nervous state. You better take that vacation before it's too late. What do you mean, too late? Oh, suppose you put over a big deal. Suppose you make a million dollars. What good is it if you keel over? Unless you want to become the richest man in the cemetery. The richest man in the... Will you stop talking like that? Will you please let me alone? Oh, kind of scared you. Looks like I rang the bell that time. You rang the bell. What are you talking about? Oh, was that the telephone? <laughs> was what the telephone? Mm -hmm, I thought I heard the bell ring. Did the telephone ring? <laughs> oh, no telephone ring. Oh, I thought I heard. Are you sure? I better make sure. Get away from that phone, will you? Hello? Will you put that phone down? Hello? There was no phone call, Jane. Well, I had to make sure. Now, will you leave that phone alone? I'm expecting a call. You are? Well, what do you think I am? Do I have to tell? What? Oh, oh. now, see here, you two. This is going to turn into a free-for-all. Well, I am expecting a phone call. He wants to make fun of it I'm now. not making fun. I said I'm expecting a phone call, and I am. You are, really? Yes. Well, isn't that a call? Well, I am, too, dear. Who from? Mine's important <laughs> business. Well, mine is, too. <laughs> What business are you in now, Jane? I'm not kidding, Jane. Don't be on that phone until my call comes through. Who is it from? Do I have to answer to you for every phone call I get now? First, I can't walk around in my own home. And Who now... said you couldn't walk around? Oh. I didn't say you oh, couldn't well, walk. Oh, I think I said that, Jane. Why, Marge, he can walk around if he wants to. I know, Jane. I realize my mistake now. Go ahead and walk, dear. Oh, please stop bothering me. What time is it, anyhow? 
Uh, it's uh, quarter to eight. I ought to be getting it pretty soon. Me too. Oh, you go back and finish those dishes, Jane, and stop butting in. I'm into... through with the dishes. I just finished, and I thought I heard the telephone. There was no phone, and if there is, it's for me. Not if it's for me. Will you please stop? Hey, will you two stop that eternal bickering? I didn't bick. <laughs> Isn't that awful? Do you think I'm kidding about this, Jane? About what? About expecting a phone call. No, and I'm not either. Well, yours is a, yours can't be important. I'm... Well, it certainly is to me. Oh, who is it from? Oh, wouldn't you like to know? I certainly would. That's why I'm asking. What you don't know won't hurt. I don't go around asking you who you're expecting to call. My goodness, can a person even get a phone call without everybody jumping at him? I'm expecting a phone call, and it's business and very important. Well, mine's business, too, and very important. Oh, <clears throat> copycat. Copycat. <laughs> Imagine her expecting a phone call about business. What business? My business. Oh, so that's going to be your attitude. Oh, that's for me. That's for me, dear. Will you get out of my way and let me answer? But I tell you, I'm expecting... Oh, I'll settle this. Hello? Marge, will you give me that Get call? it to me, Marge. It's for me. That's the call I'm expecting. Oh, I tell... hello, Neil. Oh, Neil. Oh, it's for Marge. Oh, pretty good. How are you? Make it snappy. Yes, Marge, make it snappy. No, I'm too tired to be dragging out tonight. I thought you were going to be busy working, anyhow. Tell him to call back later, Marge. Yes, tell him to call back later, Marge. You got what? Oh, finished early. Well, it's too late now, Neil. I want to get in early tonight because i got a tough day tomorrow. We've got a date for tomorrow night, anyhow. Isn't that awful? Isn't that awful? Oh, stop it. Oh, stop it, Marge. I'm talking to you. To me? What did I say? But I don't want to ride out somewhere. I told you I'm staying in tonight. I've got to get dressed again, and I... Oh, listen, Neil. Besides, Ace is expecting a very important call pretty soon, and he's glaring at me so... At last. At last. Uh, Me too, Marge. Yes, and Jane's expecting a call, too. How about calling me back in an hour or so? But I don't think I want to go out tonight. Oh, how about dropping over later? I need somebody sane to talk to for a time. All right, all right. Cut it short. Yes, all right, all right. Call me back, then. So long. Well, I hope you two maniacs are satisfied now. I'm not asking anything unreasonable. I tell you, I'm expecting a call. Well, what kind of a call? You act like the end of the world. Do I have to answer to you what calls I get? Yes, come to think of it. What kind of a call is it? A telephone call. Yes, I know, but... Oh, a telephone call. (laughs) What other call could it be? That's very funny, dear. Thanks. But all joking aside... Oh, what (laughs) joking? (laughs) Why don't you tell us what it is, Ace? I never knew you to be so secretive before. Well, I am about this. Well, we'll be here when they telephone you. We'll be able to hear what you're saying. Well, if you think that'll give you a clue. I will. I'll be able to understand it. You might as well tell us now. Well, stop pestering me. I tell you, it's business. You wouldn't be interested. You don't know anything about business, so don't keep... Oh, I don't. Well, you'll see. I'll see what? I'll show you someday. You act like you're the only one that knows anything around here. Well, won't you... You'll be surprised. I will be at anything you do. All right, just hold your horse. Oh. Why, what have you got up your sleeve, Jane? Where? Don't ask her. All she knows is getting messed up in everybody else's business and messing it up so that they can't make heads or tails of it. Oh, yes? That's a snappy comeback, Jane. Oh, no, don't try to get around me by flattering me. I oh. heard what you said about messing everything I up. I hope you did, and I hope you'll take it to heart. I suppose you did a swell job with that thing Johnny was trying to straighten out with those fur thieves. Oh, I don't want to hear anything about that. You just wait. I've waited for five years, and every time you start something, it winds up in a big nothing. In a big what? In a big nothing. You heard me. Everything I tackle that you put your two cents worth in has turned out catastrophically. Well, I never heard... What'd you say? You heard me. Well, just say it in words of one cylinder. And just what do you mean, everything I put my two cents in? Everything. You have a faculty for messing things up. What? Everything. Do you want me to run through the list? No, just take it slow. I'd like to hear it. I haven't the time right now. Well, sure you haven't, because everything that I've done has turned out all right. Mm, Would you mind running through the list? Well, sure I will. How about buying this house? Whose idea was that? Or if it wasn't for me, we'd still be living in that, in, in that apartment. Yes, go on. Oh, and a lot of other things. They're too humorous to mention. Too humorous. <laughs> yes, you said it. Well, this is one thing I'm keeping to myself. I'm not taking the slightest chance of your balling it up. It means too much to me. That's why I want you to stay off of that phone until I get my call. Well, it's as much my phone as it is yours. I'm not arguing that. I'm just saying that if a phone call comes through in the next few minutes, it's for me, and I'm going to answer the phone. Oh, what difference does it make? Who answers it? If it's for you, she'll let you talk. I don't even want her to answer it. She might wreck it. I don't want her to answer it. Well, I will if I'm nearest to it, and I am. Nothing doing. Not tonight, anyhow. We'll, uh, We'll answer it alphabetically. All right. And my name is Ace. 
Oh, yes. No, that's not fair. There it is now. That's for me. Let me have that. But, dear, I'm expecting a call. Hello? Now we'll see who's smart and who isn't. Hello? Let's listen, Mark, and find out what he's saying. All right. Yes? They asked him if it was him, and he said yes. <laughs> nice work, Jane. Uh-huh. 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 You'll have to start talking pretty soon. I hope so. Uh-huh. Yeah, he's that long. Maybe they're still asking him if it's him. You think so? What? Now he'll start. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. Oh, now that's no fair. <laughs> well, I got that settled. I feel much better now. Well, thank heaven for that. <laughs> well, that wasn't fair that way. What? She was going to piece together both ends of the conversation. Oh, she was, huh? But there wasn't much piecing to do at this end. Well, that suits me. This is business and my own business. There's not going to be any mix-up. Oh, you think you're smart. Yes, I think I'm smart enough to mind my own business and see to it that nothing happens to Quiris. Are you sure that call was for you? Am I sure it was for me? <laughs> if that was for me and you didn't let me talk. Listen to her, will you? Well, who was it? That was my call. Now, you can have the phone the rest of the night if you want it. Well, if I don't get a call pretty soon, I'll think you did that on purpose. Who was that? I don't ask you who your calls are from, do well, I? Well, I won't tell you from now on, even if you do. Who are you expecting a call from, James? Oh, yes, you just try to find out. Well, it's probably one of those silly dames that she knows. You know those women that live around here, probably about a dress or a hat. It's not about any dress. Oh, it's about a hat, then. I thought I knew. It's not about a hat. Oh, I don't care a lot. And it's not about a... What'd you say? I said... I don't care, but if I did, I could find out pretty easy. Well, now, don't ask me. I won't tell you. You're just wasting your time. I don't have to ask you to find out. Just about a minute's listening to your inane conversation would tell me. I never saw a family with so many secrets. I feel like an outsider. I can't even tell you, Marge. Oh, come on now. It's not that... Oh, well, there it is. Ask me. Don't you answer it, dear. You don't see me making any moves to, do you? Well, no, don't even try it. I'll answer it. It's for me. Well, this ought to be good. Hello? Hello? Yes? Yeah. Uh, this is Mrs. A. Oh, hello, Mr. Uh, oh, hello. Now watch this big important conversation take place. She think this all together ought to be a cinch. Uh-uh. 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 What is this? <laughs> Well, between the uh-huhs and the 